Hey, good morning. We're in uh, Dolores, Colorado at the uh, Rio Grande Southern uh, Railway Museum. Mm -hmm. And behind us is this the Galloping Goose. I almost said Spruce Goose. The Galloping Goose. There are six of these. Five of them are in Colorado. You know where the other one is? Do you know where the other one is? I do. Where is it? Do you know where the other one is? I do. Where is it? Knott's Berry Farm, baby. Yep, Knott's Berry Farm. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, here's another one. Uh, they have three in Golden, Colorado, and one someplace else. But anyway, we're not here to show you this necessarily. We are going to drive the 250 plus mile uh, Skyline <laughs> Drive or Skyline Loop or whatever they call it. Basically, it goes from Dolores up through Telluride up over the mountains to Ore and Silverton and then Durango. And it's supposed to be absolutely beautiful. Yeah. So well, that's what we're doing today. We're gonna go check that out. We're not gonna spend any detailed time in any of these places. We're just gonna stop at the... It'll be like a postcard kind of thing yeah. maybe. Yeah, so we're just gonna stop at the uh, interesting places, the pretty places, significant places, show them off real quick mm -hmm. and then move along. Otherwise, we'll be out here for a week. So this is Dolores. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice little town. Mm -hmm. um, we actually had our anniversary lunch here. Yeah, right over there at the depot, Burgers and Fries. Mm -hmm. It was actually pretty good. It was really good. Um, and they have this museum. Uh, there's uh, the Dolores River flows through town. Mm -hmm. And other that, I have no idea what Dolores is all about. It's a pretty little town, though. Yeah, it really is. But we have to get going. Otherwise, 
we'll never get back home. We stopped at a little, uh, I don't know, little camping area on the side of the highway. I mean, it's not, you know, the highway's right there and you see the road. There's a tent back, back here, but there's no vehicle. But uh, this is the Dolores River, I believe. There's been several tributaries that have made it much larger down the hill. And it is so unbelievably green. I mean, the pastures are green. The trees have, not here because they haven't budded yet, but down lower, like dark greens and light greens, and it's amazing. By the way, the signs here refer to this as the San Juan Skyway. Uh, it goes up and around through the, the San Juan National Forest. So it's a San Juan Skyway. We made it to Rico. It wasn't as far down the road as I thought. It was only about five miles. It's a cool little town. Yeah. You can see all these historic buildings behind us. Like that over there, that's the uh, Mine Shaft Inn. There's like a cafe. It looks like almost like a barbecue down there. There's a post office right across the street too. Oh yeah, the always exciting post office. But it is very small, like that espresso bar. Uh, it's for sale now. Yeah. So it's closed. But anyway, I mean, look, look, look at this amazing mountain they live under. Boom. The river's right down there. There's more mountains back behind me. See, look at that. What an awesome place. It's it's a it's a million miles from anywhere, but. And then, I think Jen wanted to point out, I don't know if you can see it, the Masonic Lodge, but you can see the old uh, advertisement on the side. It says, furniture, wholesale, retail, got carpets, stoves, ranges, it's kinda cool. Hopefully the businesses, uh, you know, have some traffic in the summer so that they can keep open, because it's such a cool little town. I hate to see a little town like this. I'm sure they come and go. Not thrive. Yeah. I'm sure they come and go. I mean, there's, there's an inn right there. Looks yeah. like a cool place to stay. Anyway, this is Rico. There's not much here, but uh, we'll get a little B-roll before we leave. We just made it to Lizard Head Pass. I don't know why it's called that. It seems weird. Anyway, according to that sign, we're at 10,222 feet right now. According to a sign back there a mile or so, one of these peaks, I don't know which one, it wasn't the most accurate sign in the world. So I, I don't, I'm not sure which peak because the sign just pointed in this general direction. One of these peaks is 13,000 some odd feet. I don't remember. 300 some odd feet. So we're pretty high. In any case, I'm sure if I moved around a lot, I would suddenly find myself out of breath. I'm surprised I'm not lightheaded. Maybe it's because we've been at 7,000 feet for almost two weeks. But anyway, it's beautiful. And you see how much snow there is feet of snow. I can't imagine how much snow is up in those in those peaks. Many, many feet. It's beautiful though. It's an absolutely beautiful day today. It really is. Yeah, day. even up here at 10,000 feet, it's like it's 55, 57 degrees. Mm -hmm. So it's a really, really nice day. I'm sure at night it gets really, really cold up here still. But... Oh, without a doubt. It still gets cold where we are at night. In any case, that's it. We're going to head to, uh, I think Telluride should be the next, the next major stop. And it looks really cool. So excited. I've been wanting to see Telluride for a long time. So, so, so excited. Down the road we go. According to these signs, we're just on the other side of, of the pass. And you notice the snow went away rather suddenly. Anyway, mountain up there, 12,930 feet. The one in the background there, 14,000 feet, and the one we can't see is 14,246 feet. And all of them are shorter, is that the right word? Than Mount Whitney over by uh, Bishop, California. There, trivia. Now you know. They're very impressive though, driving through and being surrounded by these ginormous mountains is actually Pretty cool. We did find out that there's a, well, let me see it right here. You see that, that little, there you go. That's lizard head. That's why it's called that. I saw it briefly. You can't see it from here, but that's why it's called lizard head pass and lizard head wilderness and 
lizard head everything. But yeah, it's huge. We're on one side of the hills, they're on the other side. There's big cliffs over there. There's a big valley here, you, and you can get into that valley. There's a forest service road that went down there. All right, we gotta keep going. We made it to Telluride. We did. You may notice we're not in the, uh, the popular part of Telluride because there's very little parking and we're not gonna stay. Sure. We have to get down the road. Down there, there was just the, the smell of money and pretentiousness and elitism was just permeating the air. I mean, the buildings are super cool because they're old. The historic district is really old. It's really cool. But well, yeah, it is not what I was expecting. I'm a little bummed, but the, the buildings were cool, so. I'll yeah, now, now, if you didn't know, according to the sign on the way in, Telluride is a civil liberties safe zone. Now, what I assume is that means I can walk around downtown with an AR-15 slung over my shoulder and no one's gonna bat an eye. In fact, they'll probably pat me on the back for doing so. I seriously doubt that's what it means. Something, something tells me that uh, if I were to produce a weapon and drink out of plastic straws and that I, I would be summarily run out of town. But I don't know. I don't know what that means. I might go look at that later. I want to find out what that means. A civil liberty safe zone. We should we should stop there so we can see what it says. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we're probably going to run downtown see if we can't get a little B-roll. Um, but like I said, we, we weren't planning on staying here anyway. No. Th this, is, this isn't even on the San Juan Skyway. You have to drive I don't know, was it like five, 10 miles? Yeah, something like that. Off to get into Telluride. Mm -hmm. But, uh, so we're just gonna head right back out and continue, cause we still have probably well over 150 miles to go. Yeah. So we have a lot to see. Yes, we so, do. So we'll go get some B-roll and then we'll see you somewhere else down the road. I don't know. I did look it up. The Civil Liberty Safe Zone is in response to 9-11 and the perceived or maybe actual Fears about the uh, Patriot Act and the profiling of, of Middle Eastern or, or Muslim men and so on and so forth. They're also committed to being carbon neutral. Uh, they ran out of room to put the no plastic straws sign. I think they have to put that up there now. But uh, tell you right. We find ourselves in Ridgeway, Colorado. Mm -hmm. As we said, we are in the flatlands. It's not that flat. Not really. I mean, the mountains are right over there, and there's more right over there, and right over there. Yeah, we're pretty much surrounded by mountains. Totally different farming. Yeah. Cows, tons, pastures. Tons of ranching around this community. Lots of cows and horses, and absolutely beautiful. Everything is so green. It's beautiful. And and uh, it's it's actually a cool town. They they have the kind of the old, you know, historical area. There's another block of this, um, and then back here. They've got the park and they're having some kind of little farmer's market or something down here today. They've got a live band down there playing mostly like 90s grunge music. Just three guys. It's, it was kind of cool. We, we ate lunch. We got lunch down at the uh, Gas and Sip or the Quickie Mart or what do you want to call it. And uh, stopped here for lunch. It's a really pretty little town. So this is one of those towns. Florence, Oregon was another one. Yeah. Where it's like, as soon as I got there, I was like, I love this place. I love this place. It's got a really cool vibe. Yeah. It's 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 not a it's not as small as where we used to live, you know, where there were no stoplights. No. And there were there were two bars. Oh no, there was one bar because the other one closed down. And two tractor dealers. This actually has like you know. There's a grocery store across the way. Yeah. Actually, the Mountain Market. So. Yeah. So there's groceries and stuff, and it's a nice little town. Yeah. I'd live here. Oh, I took a walk down a block. Uh, it is kind of a eclectic little town. It's, there, there's a Thai restaurant, there's a Chinese restaurant down there. There's like a tavern back here. I don't know what kind of food they serve. There's a day spa right down here. Uh, place sells bikes and skis and stuff. Jen ran over to get a picture of the uh, fire department. Hopefully some video. See, Thai restaurant. What? Chinese restaurant right back there. Yeah. So. Liquor store across the street, grocery oh, and store. And the all important, especially in Colorado, the liquor store, apparently they're not allowed to sell liquor in grocery stores. No. I don't understand. We're from Nevada. That's weird and foreign and strange. Anyway, that's Ridgeway. We got to keep going. 
I mean, it's already close to one o'clock and we're maybe halfway done. Probably not even halfway done. And all the good stuff. Oh, by the way, see these lamps? See this? If I had a house, those would be outside my garage. Those are awesome. I don't think I can do those are awesome. Those are awesome. Dragon lamps. A lot of the good stuff, Ore, Silverton, Durango, are all on this side. Not to mention the million dollar highway. So, uh, we better get out of here or else we'll be shooting in the dark once we get to Durango. All right, we made it to uh, Ore. Hope I'm saying that right. Anyway, cool little town. Yeah. Bigger than uh, uh, Ridgecrest. No, Ridgegate, Ridge. What the hell is that place called? Ridge Ridgeway. Ridgeway. Ridgeview. Ridgeway. 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 That's right. Yeah. Uh, bigger than Ridgeway, but mm -hmm. this incredible old downtown through here, and just surrounded by those soaring peaks everywhere. It's uh, it's. Magnificent. It's magnificent. Yeah, and there's there's everything. Like we're right next to the hardware store. There's an Irish pub. There's a Thai restaurant. There's the the Jeep rental place. Yeah. So you can go four wheeling around here. Just see all kinds of there was a meat market back there. I mean there's everything. Smoke shop. Blah blah blah. I mean, on and on and on. It's very cool. Very cool. Yeah. It's actually like uh, what I would imagine Virginia City would have been like if it wouldn't have become so commercialized. And if they didn't build everything so close right. and would have allowed for a four-lane highway through the middle of it. We were discussing on the way here that, uh, you know, if we see any place, and we have, we've seen a couple of places, that we want to come back to later this summer. Yeah. Uh, we, we might just do that. This yeah. would be one of them. This is really cool. I'd like to, I'd like to camp near here. They have RV parks here. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they have boondocking, you know, within a reasonable uh, distance. Same with uh, Same Ridgeway with Ridgeway, or yeah. Ridge Stumping, whatever the name of that place was. Pretty sure it's Ridgeway. Yeah, we're pretty sure. Anyway, unfortunately, we have to keep going. Yeah, we That's do. the bad part of this, is we need to keep going. We can't stay here for a couple of hours. And check it out and explore. Yeah. yeah, we don't have time to explore. But, like I said, we can come back. Yeah. We probably will. I like it. Me too. Okay. Going, moving, doing. All right, we found this little uh, pullout overlook uh, just a few miles out of Ori. Look at that. Look at that. It's not just that. There's that waterfall over there. And then we'll go over here. And there's that one over there. And off this little overlook, look how far down that goes. That's got to be like 200 to 300 feet, just straight down right here. I mean, look at that. Oh, scary. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, that, uh, I mean, that's where the road goes, back up through there. It's just nuts. Anyway, Jen's, Jen's talking to some ladies. I believe they own that little casita back there. So uh, she's swapping RV stories. Wow, this is amazing. It's incredible. Yeah, we gotta come back. We're coming back here this summer, that's for sure. Uh, another stop just down the road. Engineer Mountain Trail, which I believe, off the top of my head, I need to, we have no cell service. I believe that's one of the popular, very difficult trails. It's four wheel drive only. It heads right up alongside Right up alongside those mountains. And then behind us, as you can probably hear, that's, I waited, I didn't get too close, is a waterfall. There's a waterfall. Uh, there's more of it. You can't, you can't really get a good view here because there's nowhere to, to go. But it comes through that tunnel. Oh my God, that is, it's a tunnel. They dug a tunnel out of the rocks for, this is crazy. Hold on, I gotta go up here and look at this. Look at that. I think they dug a tunnel through the rocks for this creek to come through. That's crazy. There it goes. Here's the other side of the creek. It just disappears into the rock. You can see there used to be a bridge here. They abandoned that for whatever reason. Tunnel through the rock. I so want to go through there. It's probably not advisable, but I so want to do it. Anyway, Engineer Mountain 
road, 4x4 four four only. I've been looking. I still can't find where you are. I don't see engineer mountain road. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Oh, we passed that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I don't know where we are. In any case, there's a lot of off road here, and a lot of them say uh, expert 4x4 drivers only. Okay, we're, we're moving on. Woo, look at this. It's just crazy up here. It's just absolutely stunning up here. The mountains are so steep and rugged. It's very surreal. It doesn't seem real at all, honestly. What? It doesn't seem real at all. It doesn't seem real at all. It could be the lack of oxygen. There's a little bit of that happening. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what the elevation is here. No. All I know it's very high. Definitely feeling the elevation yeah. right now. I'm guessing we're well above 8,000 feet, maybe above 9,000 feet, maybe above 10,000 feet. I have no idea. All right. Okay. As soon as the tribe clears, we're going to head across the road and uh, head on up the road. We can't say down, it's not down. It's definitely up. Well, this is the uh, Red Mountain Mining Overlook. And we, we can't get there. There's still snow and other people have tried and have not made it. And we're not walking up there. But, looks like an old mining camp. Lots of these buildings. There's like an old Ford LTD buried in the snow down there. But uh, pretty cool. I think you'd be able to look back down the valley back to, towards uh, Ore. But like I said, we can't get up there. Maybe from further up there, there'll be another lookout. I don't know. A bona fide snowball. Yeah. snowball. No snowball. Get, get out of here. We passed 10,000 feet in elevation quite a while ago. Yep. And this road continues to go up. I don't know how high this pass is. Hopefully we'll find out. We can tell you. But uh, it's definitely high. Definitely yeah. can feel it. Yeah, I'm feeling a little uh, lightheaded. Mm -hmm. Got a little headache going on. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm imagining any hiking, especially through uh, slushy, wet snow, would be the death of me. We didn't, couldn't film any of it, but there were so many areas where avalanches have come oh, through yeah. and just completely wiped out the aspen. Like they were just, they look like matchsticks. I mean, it was crazy. We, yes. we actually drive through a snow shed. Yeah, well, they had a snow shed because obviously it repeatedly comes down like a canyon yeah. and snow just covers the road and there was snow covering the snow shed. Mm -hmm. And plenty of other places where it looked like just this year. Yeah. Had just and ripped aspens that were 8, 10, 12 inches in diameter. Every once in a while along the side of the road, there'd be a wall of snow, you know, snow plows and everything have come through and already cleared it out. And then there'd be a like a... 10 inch diameter aspen just poking out. Yeah, right. That Actually, had been ripped in half. Right on the other side of the snow shed, there was just a recent avalanche or whenever, but there was aspen fresh, like, you know, they hadn't been there very long. Just trunks poking out all over the snow. I mean, it, it is a little crazy. I think we have about 60 miles to get back to uh, Durango, and then it's still 45 miles home, so we still have a long way to go. We made it to Silverton now. Mm -hmm. And instead of uh, shooting down Main Street again, which is really cool. I mean, lots of old buildings, just like the last couple of towns, uh, we decided to come here because of that amazing courthouse behind us. It's really cool. Anyway, uh, whew, we just came off that big mountain. Whew, it was, we had to be close to 11,000 feet. And now we're only at 9,600. It's, uh, I don't know. I, I gave me a headache. Yeah, it did a little bit. We probably need, when we get to Durango, we're probably going to eat like, because we had snacks, but we're going to probably have a real meal. That, that'll probably help. Yeah, but if we it, have been drinking water today, so yeah. we're doing good with the water. Yeah, if, and even though we're, we're keto-ish right now, I'm getting a big-ass soda when we get there. That just sounds amazing right now. We're not going to go check out Main Street in Silverton like we have. I think I already said that. I'm loopy, okay? Um... But we got in the B-roll, mm -hmm. driving down. But uh, this is a this is a nice little quiet spot. Uh, and now we're gonna go find uh, restrooms because we've been drinking water. And I think the elevation has something to do with it. You know, lower pressure. I don't know. I made that up. I I just know I have to pee. We stopped because I had an epiphany 
while we were getting back in the Jeep. That's the Grand Imperial Hotel. Ghost Adventures uh, investigated that hotel. We, we thought this place looked familiar. And uh, it did. That's where they investigated. I don't know. We used, we used to watch that show all the time, so. We, we always keep a lookout for where they've been. You know, you gotta stop somewhere. Went through, I mean, a long drive since we were in Durango. Over two passes. Silverton. Silverton, sorry. Whew. Um, so it's an amazing country, just not a lot of places to pull over, nothing super exciting. Uh, we're about 20 miles from Durango now at, uh, what's this? The Needles Country Square. Yeah, and it's a nice store. The architecture in there is fantastic. They have ginormous logs that are like on the, the ceiling and in the bathroom. It's, it's actually, I mean, it's a log building. Yeah. Yeah, in, in the, the men's bathroom, I probably wouldn't do it, but two walls, because mm -hmm. it's, it's in that corner right there. We're, we're, we're just logs. the logs. Yeah, yeah it was fantastic. Yeah, it was kind of cool. Um, so anyway, we're headed to Durango. We're probably gonna stop again until we get to Durango, and then we'll uh, probably finish this thing off. But yeah, we saw we check in. I mean, not that you care, right? You don't know how far we've driven. <laughs> well, I can tell you, we drove 10 miles. You believe me? But we're gonna go. We're gonna grab dinner in Durango. Uh, but uh, we'll find something to shoot and we'll end it. And, but here we go. I'm gonna take some B-roll of this gas station because I can. <laughs> Uh, we're in Durango, mm -hmm. uh, from which you will get precious little B-roll because I don't like downtown Durango. It's weird. Uh, we had to pay to park. How much did we pay? I don't know. The, you stick your card in, it gives you some random amount of time uh, for, you, for some unknown amount of money. Yeah, it gives you an hour and then it says you can add up to an hour and 38 minutes. But it doesn't tell me how much it was. I have no idea. Hour and 38 minutes. No clue. I don't know. But we saw signs all over that said something like three hours. Three but hours we is a max. Not so there. we can No, you can go back there and do it three different times, but so, you can't stay longer than three hours. So you can park here. Yes. Pay to do it, and then you can go eat and then halfway through your meal walk back and it's like I we probably don't understand it. No. Because pay. We're not city folk. <laughs> yeah, we don't do the pay for parking thing usually. Not like this. I mean, we might go to a parking lot. We go get a ticket or something. But this street stuff. And the weird thing is, it's not on this block. I think it's on the next block down. There's one of the meters is broken. Mm -hmm. So instead of just saying, well, you know, for a few days until we get it repaired, we can park. People can park here for free. They put us. They put a thing over the meters that says no parking. Yep. So because they can't take money for it, they won't let you park there, which I don't, I don't understand. But whatever. Okay, that's enough. For See, and then, and then this is Would something. See, we have to do this on the test in Nevada. We have to parallel park. We hardly ever parallel park. Oh, he's gonna hit that guy. Oh, no, he didn't. We hardly ever parallel park in Nevada. There is no parallel parking in Nevada. No. Anywhere, no. ever. No. I, I thought that, that was a cowboy. I thought the cowboy. Why guy talking about him? I thought it was a, I thought it was a cowboy statue. I was like, he talks? Okay. So uh, anyway, we're going to walk around just a little bit, get a little bit of B-roll. Then we're going to find some place that's not here to eat. Not in, not downtown because it's kind of crazy. And it's Friday night. Yeah. Um, but so that's it. Uh, and we're also going to go because we've already been on the section between here and home. And uh, there's not anything that exciting. And I don't want to do this anymore. So, so are we we're so we're ending it. Right? Yeah. Okay. So Jen's going to say something now. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. We really hope you enjoyed this. It was a fantastic day. We had a really, really good time exploring. Yeah, we'll see if it makes a fantastic video, but. Yeah, I don't know about that, but it was it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. Oh yeah, it is amazing. a beautiful drive, beautiful. Colorado, beautiful drive. two thumbs up. Yeah, we'll definitely be back to that. Um, Ridgeway? Ridgeway uh, or a uh, or, or a, Silverton yeah. area again. That, yeah, that definitely, beautiful. fantastic. So, so as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for all your amazing comments and we'll see you all down the road. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.